फ्रेंड्स आई एम अनुराग कपूर दिस साइड इन माय जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग कंसल्टेंसी टिप्स चैनल दिस इज एक्चुअली माय लेक्चर नंबर टेन बट इट हैज बीन नंबर्ड एज सेवन बिकॉज माय ओरिजिनल वन वाज इंट्रोडक्टरी एंड द लेक्चर वन हैड थ्री पार्ट्स नाउ आई विल बी कवरिंग द मोस्ट important component of the points which any geotechnical investigation report or sub surface investigation report should comprise of which has now been very clearly mentioned in IS 1892 2021 under clause 9.2 so first of all what does clause 9.2 says it says that it is the information which must necessarily be or should be the component of the geotechnical investigation report what do you call it you can can call it as subsurface investigation report or soil investigation report or soil testing or subsoil investigation report what should this report essentially comprise of number 1 when we start writing the report it should first of all cover the details about the geology and the seismicity of that very particular site seismicity seismicity means in which seismic zone of india or if we go outside india the site comes in jaise in india we are having four seismic zones because whenever we finalize the report this is considered in report preparation as well as further structure designing based on the recommendations given in our report number 2 is the topography of the site topography means ki what actually was the situation of the site what was in its periphery rather to say were there any across any structures or any drain passing through or near the site or the profile of the site whether it was zigzag or it was even whether it has it had so many trees because when we will measure ground water table if the site comprises of lot many trees you will find the ground water table as up otherwise you may find it down if it if we go to do the investigations in any thickly and densely populated area and likewise we should also make this past historical data about the site as the part of the report why because it may be possible ki in the past there would have been any brick kiln etc at the site and now it has been moved further in the outskirts of the city and now we are doing the investigation job it could have been a dumping yard for some time then in that very case we would be finding out the organic matter or any filled up content maybe it would have been uh any built up structure which, ha- which has been dismantled and now we are going for the new fresh investigation so in that very case you can find some foundation material into it that is why we need to cover this past historical data also for any particular civil engineering in, 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 in structure where we go for site investigation number 4 is the method of boring means it should be mentioned which method of boring or drilling did you adopt at that very particular site for collecting the undisturbed disturbed samples which we bring to our laboratory for testing this has been uh, discussed in our previous lectures now we should definitely mention the date of our we should exactly define the week of the month of that very particular year through which we can uh, decide on the probable on the probable post monsoon water table rise on the probable post monsoon water table rise why because we must have we may have done the uh, investigation before monsoons 
और जस्ट आफ्टर मानसून और जस्ट बिफोर मानसून और से आफ्टर थ्री और फोर मंथ्स द मानसून हैज पास बिकॉज वट एवर ग्राउंड वाटर टेबल वी एनकाउंटर एट द साइट डिपेंड्स ऑन द सीजन ऑफ द ईयर इन विच वी आर डूइंग द इन्वेस्टिगेशन दैट इज वाई इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी हैव टू टेक दिस इन टू आर कैलकुलेशन पर्पज इज वेन एवर वी डू शेयर एंड सेटलमेंट क्राइटेरिया कैलकुलेशन पॉइंट सिक्स इज द फील्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन फील्ड ऑब्जर्वेशन वॉट आई विश टू से इज इफ यू एनकाउंटर एनी अनफॉर्सिंग चीज एनी लूज स्टार्ट एनी फील्ड ऑफ सॉइल स्टार्ट और एनी ऑर्गेनिक मैटर कंटेंट और एनी थिंग विच यू मे फील दैट इट इज क्वाइट अनटूवर्ड और इट इज अनफोर्सिएबल और आपको कोई सरप्राइजिंगली पैकेट ऐसा मिल जाए यू गेट समथिंग सरप्राइजिंग लो स्टैंडर्ड पर इंस्टेंट टेस्ट वैल्यू और एनी थिंग एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दिस सेवेंथ पॉइंट इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आर जियो टेक्निकल इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिपोर्ट मस्ट डेफिनेटली कवर द एंड एनक्लोज द साइट प्लान इन विच वी विश वी शुड मैंशन द नंबर एंड द डेप्थ ऑफ बोर होल्स देर लोकेशन कमीटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द बोर होल्स एज वेल एज एनी थिंग नियर बाई से एनी मेजर स्ट्रक्चर प्रेजेंट जस्ट बिनीथ द जस्ट एट द साइड ऑफ द साइट जस्ट बिसाइड द साइट etc rather than if it has any uh, electric pole out there or anything whichever you find in the plan any well or you can say any dilapidated building etc so everything should be clearly depicted on the site plan which must necessarily comprise to be the part of the report now after all these things have been consolidated in the report now comes out to be the very important part the result sheets the result sheets comprise of vertically along the depth explore vertically along down the depth explore this comprise of based on the interval at which we have done the sampling it should comprise of Your cohesion, your angle of internal friction, your CC value, compression index, whether it is sandy soil, whether it is clay soil, specific gravity, dry density, moisture content, bulk density, and likewise, which I have already discussed in my previous lecture. Moreover, it should also comprise of this bore log charts and the all the relevant graphs of the tests performed and just mentioned by me just before. now point number 9 is also very important because the standard penetration test values which have been depicted here as n are the in situ tests which we do perform at the site and n dash means standard penetration test value corrected for it. over but n n double dash means static uh, sorry standard penetration test values corrected for that means along the that means vertically along the that like this and it should be depicted in a graphical form and should be inbuilt into the report now i am coming to my last point what the summary of the strata profile means this means that we must depict a comparative profile of the boros which we do explore at the site in reference to their relative levels depicting along the depth of the bore hole also the ground water table which we encounter at the site means it should be a combined cumulative profile of all the bore holes which we do excavate rather to say ex, uh, explore across the depth oh, sorry across and vertically along the depth they have to be depicted in the form of a combined joint profile and the most important point is all these things have to be covered as per relevant indian standard codes and done and inbuilt into the report immediately after this lecture i will be releasing and uploading my next lecture which will be the 11th in the series which will contain some information about the analysis and the interpretation of the test results 
which I have consolidated in this slide of mine. Friends, I think you would have loved to watch this video of mine and I will be releasing the next video alongside this. Hope you are liking my channel and my lectures. I wish you will be helping me in sharing and subscribing to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.